and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be unboxing, opening the envelope for my purchases with Let's Make Art. Let's Make Art is a monthly subscription for beginner artists. It has three different subscription options. There's the watercolor beginners subscription box. There is a kids art subscription and there is also a art journaling subscription. All three subscriptions are $35 a month. The watercolor box includes four different projects each month. So basically you get one project per week and each week they will put out a tutorial video that goes along with that project um, for you to kind of follow along with live with those videos. Um, I'm not as familiar with what the kids box includes, so let me look that up real quick. Probably could have looked that up and been a little bit more prepared. So the kids art box is geared towards kids aged 5 to 11. Yeah, other than that, it doesn't really say what's in it. There's a project um, and a magazine that's included in the kids subscription box. Um, so it seems like it's going to be a little bit different than the watercolor. For the art journaling, you get a mixed media art journal and six art recipe cards. And then they do release weekly videos as well for that to kind of give you some creative prompts on how to do your art journal. They also do have a store where you can purchase the individual projects separately if you wanted to just try it and see if it's for you instead of you know, committing to the subscription box, um, which is what I did. So let's go ahead and open up what is inside my envelope. So I ordered two kits and you can order the kits with or without paint. And I actually ordered them without paint because I do have a couple sets of watercolors that I already own. So I figured I had paint already um, and I didn't need to spend the extra money on it. But for whatever reason, they sent me the little paint anyways, which I'm grateful for because you can never have too many art supplies. The first project I picked was this beautiful little sunflower. And the pricing on both of these was $7.95 without the paint. And then the kits with the paint are $15. So not a bad price for um, wanting to try this, like I said before, jumping into the subscription box. So I got the sunflower and then I got this beautiful iris. Um, and then again, here's the little paints. They are super cute and tiny small. Um, they're watercolor inks, I believe, or watercolor fluid instead of like your, your typical um, either tube watercolors or the hard little pans that you get. So we'll play around with those. What else was I going to say? Okay, so each kit does include everything that you need to create this each project. So they give you a card of what your end goal is kind of with this project. And they give you a step-by-step -step guide with beautiful pictures. And they give you enough paper and supplies to be able to do this project twice. So again, this is very beginner oriented. This one does give you an outline and this black transfer paper. So basically what you do is you take the transfer paper, your outline, you put it on the paper and you trace it and it'll transfer these lines to your actual project paper. I have played around with watercolors before, but I am by no means an expert. So I wanted to give this a try and see how helpful this was. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear my workspace and I think I'm gonna actually try and do this iris project for you guys. So stick around. I'm gonna speed through the actual painting of this and I will give you my thoughts at the end. So stick around.
am definitely out of practice with watercolors. So this is my finished piece. Oh, uh, <laughs> it kind of doesn't really look like the uh, picture. I got a little heavy handed with the colors. So I'm definitely gonna be doing the second try on this. Um, there is a video link on the back for you to follow along live. So I think maybe I might try that until I get my hang of uh, watercolors back. Watercolors are a little bit tricky for me. I'm used to acrylics that you can layer up and kind of fix your ugly mistakes. Watercolor is not quite as forgiving. So um, overall, I think I like this. Um, the instructions aren't as in depth as I thought it was going to be. You definitely have to have some kind of a knowledge of watercolors and how to get them the flow to follow this. The video might be a completely different story. I'm assuming that those are going to be a lot more in depth, um, explaining how to paint wet on wet, dry on dry type of thing. Um, cause the instructions on this paper just glossed over explaining that. Um, but overall, I think this is a good, um, little kit. I like that you get everything to try and do this project twice. Obviously the first time around is not going to be the greatest if you've uh, never put down watercolors before. So um, I like that about it. I think purchasing the kits like this separately as an option to see if this is something you even want to get into is a great thing as well. For me, I think um, I have enough stuff to kind of um, get started on my own anyways. Um, but if you are a complete beginner, I think this is a great option for you. You get your liquid watercolors. They're highly pigmented. They're very good quality. I have no complaints on that. The paper is great. You're not going to have a whole lot of buckling with this. You can see I had minimal with this paper so it's very good for this medium so yeah i definitely recommend this so if you know somebody that is interested in getting into watercolor this might be a good gift for them especially with the holidays coming up getting them a couple of these kits or even getting the subscription for them and i do like that they have the kit option as well let me know what you thought of today's videos please don't critique my <laughs> my painting. Um, I am my own worst critic and I'm looking at this and I'm just like, mm, yeah. Anyways, thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up button. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button as well. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.